T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command engine start, 2, 1. She continues to punch her way to space. A beautiful burn on that BE-3 engine. I'm telling you, that gets me every single time. The rumble as it was clearing the tower was something to be felt down here, let me tell you. All right. We are continuing our climb to space. Our next highlight is going to be main engine cutoff. But at this point, our new Shepard payloads are inside the capsule. They're starting to feel those Gs they are gonna come on gradually. We're gonna max at about three Gs on ascent. And then maybe counterintuitive to some, the, uh, the max Gs that the payloads are gonna feel are about five just momentarily as the capsule comes in uh, that back into the atmosphere. All right, main engine cutoff is confirmed. While the speed is declining, you'll notice, of course, that the rocket and the, and the capsule are continuing its ascent to space. We're coming up shortly on separation. That is when the capsule is going to separate from the booster. There it is. Separation is confirmed. At this point, if you were an astronaut on board, this is when you're going to start to feel that weightlessness. We're going to let you unbuckle. I know I'd be doing my somersaults in there before taking in those spectacular views out of the world's largest windows that have ever been to space. 300,000 feet. There you see the two distinct craft in your screen. Those payloads now are getting their nice, clean micro Gs. We have crossed the 350,000 foot mark, which is what we were aiming for. Wow, almost right on the nose. 350,775 feet, thousand feet. That is absolutely incredible. That is exactly what we were targeting. Now, of course, this is the unofficial altitude of our apogee. We will be confirming all of these statistics after the flight. <laughs> 